So sometimes when finding unit rates, we're going to have um, two different fractions. And so simplifying what's called complex fractions is going to help us to get the unit rate. So a complex fraction is a fraction that has another fraction in the numerator, the denominator, or both. So it's a fraction made up of two fractions, basically. So a complex fraction, it could look like this. Let's say we have 1 half over 3. 1 half over 3. So the numerator of this big fraction is also a fraction. Or it's 1 half. We could have 3 over 1 half. So the denominator is a fraction. Or we could have 1 third over 1 half. So those are the three different ways you could see the complex fraction. The one, one important thing is um, the, so there's the big fraction and then the little fractions inside of it. To see where the middle line of that big fraction is, it's usually gonna be a little bit uh, darker or maybe a little bit bigger. So you gotta notice that so you know what's on the top and what's on the bottom. So that's something that's important to do today. And the key to simplifying these complex fractions is remember that a fraction is just a division problem. So remember back when we had turned fractions into decimals, we had like 6 over 11, and we would do 6 divided by 11? We're going to do the same thing today, except it might just be 1 half divided by 3, not 1 divided by 3. Um, but it's still going to, we're going to divide the top by the bottom to get our answer. So remember, when dividing fractions, you do keep, change, flip. Keep the first fraction the same, change to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. And once you do keep, change, flip, you just multiply straight across, and then simplify your answer if you need to. Because all of these complex fractions, we can simplify them to look like just a fraction, with one number on the top and one number on the bottom. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. All right, so let's look at our examples. Okay, so if you notice, it might look a little bit better on your paper than up here, but if you notice, this is 1 fourth over 2. So do you see the line above the 2 that separates the top from the bottom? It's a little bit bigger than that line in the 1 fourth. So that's how you know that it's 1 fourth on the top and then 2 on the bottom. So the way that we simplify, the first thing that we want to do, we don't want to write it like this complex fraction anymore. We want to write it like we would a, a normal fraction dividing problem. So we're going to take 1 fourth and write it first and actually put the division sign divided by 2. And since we're dividing, we should write that as 2 over 1. So the first thing to do is to write it like this with the division sign, don't make it look like a fraction. 
And then we do keep change flip. So we're gonna keep one fourth the same, change to multiplication, and then flip two over one and make it one half. And then we just multiply straight across. And one eighth would be our answer. <coughs> So in other words, one-fourth over two, that complex fraction, is actually really just one-eighth. We're just simplifying it to write it a different way. So on our second one here, the numerator is two-thirds and the denominator is three-sevenths. So we're going to rewrite it as two-thirds divided by three-sevenths. And then we'll do keep, change, flip as well. So keep two-thirds the same times 7 over 3. Multiply straight across, and we get 14 over 9. And let's continue with, you know, a simplifying. Make sure that we write this as a mixed number. So 14 over 9, what is that going to be as a mixed number, Jazz? One and five ninths, good. So in other words, two thirds over three sevenths is really one and five ninths. We're just simplifying it, writing it a little different. Okay, so go ahead and do those next two on your own. Pick out what's the numerator, what's the denominator, divide them by each other and then simplify. Okay, so this first one, what is this fraction? Make sure that we understand what, what's the complex fraction first before we start to set it up and divide. So how would, how would we say this fraction here? We'll say one over one half. But yeah, one, one and one half would be like a mixed number. So yeah, one over one half. So one or one over one divided by one half. So then do keep change flip. And it becomes 1 times 2 over 1. So you're just going to get 2 or 2 over 1 is your answer. Okay, our second one, it's a little easier to see that one because it's going to be 6 over 11 divided by 2 thirds. So do keep, change, flip. It's going to become 6 over 11 times 3 over 2. And then multiply straight across. You get 18 over 22. And do we need to simplify that? Yes. Divide both by 2. Get 9 over 11. Okay, so any questions on, on this part? Simplifying these. Okay, if not, we will also have some word problems, but this is where those key words that we've been talking about so far this year um, can, can come in handy. So Josiah can jog one and a third miles in a fourth of an hour. If 
find his average speed in miles per hour. So first of all, this is a unit rate problem because miles per hour, remember yesterday we said that's a unit rate. What, what word tells us which operation to use? What word, Talon, tells us which operation? What? Average. Average would work, yeah. There's another word I was thinking of as well. You see the other word there? That tells, it's the same operation. Per, yep, what, what is that? Division. Division. So per means to divide. And remember, when we see per, we do it in the same order it gives us in the problem. Miles per hour means it's going to be miles divided by hours. So one and one third divided by one fourth. Yes. Could you put four over two? Yes, actually, you need to. Yep. So change one and one third to four thirds divided by one fourth. And now we can do keep change flip. Because you can't divide or multiply fractions unless it's an improper fraction. So it'll be 4 thirds times 4 over 1, which gets you 16 over 3. And then let's convert that to a mixed number, which would be what? 5 and 1 third. And let's put the units with it, 5 and 1 third miles per hour. So we could either, so we used to think of this two ways. He runs five and a third miles per hour, that's his speed. Or you could also think of it as in one hour, he would have ran five and one third miles. That's two ways you can think about that. Any questions there? So look at those keywords that tell you to, uh, what operation to use and then you set it up that way. So go ahead and do the next one on your own. So another way to think about this is you're trying to find the square feet per hour. How many square feet can you paint in each hour? So you're trying to find the unit rate, how many square feet in one hour. So you're going to put 34 and a half first divided by 3 fourths. So convert 34 and a half to an improper fraction. And once we do that, then we can do keep change flip. 
keep the first one the same times four thirds and then multiply straight across so the top number 276 yep 276 over 6 so what I would do then is just divide these and see what you get as a mixed number. So 276 divided by 6. Give me, yep, 46. And so no remainder, which means it's not really going to be a mixed number. It's just going to be 46. So your answer would be 46. 46 what? Square, square feet per hour. Yeah, 46 square feet per per hour. Okay, any questions? That one? Okay, one last type of problem, and this goes with um, simplifying complex fractions, would be if we need to write a percent as a fraction in simplest form. So, this 33 and a third percent, it's already a mixed number, but they want you to write it as a fraction like one half or one fourth, something like that. So first thing is every percent is out of what? 100%. And if you think about out of 100, you could think of that as over 100. So if we have something like write this percent as a fraction in simplest form, what we want to do is write write the percent as an improper fraction over 100. So write this percent, 33 and one third, as an improper fraction over 100. And then we'll see how we can simplify. It'll be a lot easier to see how to simplify it. Because we said every every percent is out of 100, so 33 and a third, per, uh, 33 and one third as an improper fraction, 33 times 3 is 99, plus 1 would be 100 over 3, over 100. So that's what it's going to look like. So this is 33 and a third, 100 over 3, over 100. And if you want to make it look a little easier, you could even write 100 over 1 there at the bottom. So now do this like the first problems we did. So we're going to write that as 100 over 3 divided by 100 over 1. And then we'll do keep change flip. So it would be 100 over 3 times 1 over 100. And then multiply straight across. So we get 100 over 300. And what does 100 over 300 simplify to? One third. one third. So one third would be our answer. So if you see 33 and a third percent, that's like thinking of it as one third as a fraction. Because it's that's this is one third of 100. That's what that means. This is one third of 100. Okay, so any questions on that? All right, if not, I've got a few problems to work on today as well.